Welcome to Coding with Nivesh. My name is Nivesh and in this tutorial you will understand how to integrate ChatGPT with Google Sheets using ChatGPT API and App Script. We will be creating two custom formulas, GPT Summary and GPT Simplify. GPT Summary can be used to summarize the big chunk of passage or text in few bullet points so that it's efficient to read. With GPT Simplify, you can simplify the English into easy to read English and we will also create menus which will perform the same functions as the custom formulas. We will also discuss pros and cons of using formulas versus menus. By the end of this video, you will understand how to use ChatGPT with Google Sheets using AppScript Script and also be able to modify the formulas and menus to adjust to your own needs. Maybe you want to create CVs, resumes, social posts. These are the things which you will be able to do after this video and hopefully this will be an interesting topic for you and you can learn something. So we are here in our profile section. If you do already don't have an account, you need to create one with OpenAI. To create new API key, go to API keys on the user section and then press create new secret key button. I already have one, but I'm going to create new one anyways. And I'm going to name it example API key. You can name it whatever you want. But remember to copy the API key after it has been created because apparently we cannot see this API key again. So with this, we're done with the API key. So I have my spreadsheet open with where I want to apply this GPT formula. And I have named it GPT integration with three columns, passes, simplified passes, and summarized text. And uh, let's open the app script for this spreadsheet, which is also named GPT integration. And there is a file named code.js. I want to change the name of the file to utils.js because we want to create a face data function in here. But for now, let's create a variable named chat GPT API, which is going to hold the value of the API key, which we just created in OpenAI. So now we will create a base URL constant, which will hold the constant URL for fetching the data from OpenAI. And this is how you go there from API reference, chat, and create chat conditions. After that, we'll create a function named face data. This will have two parameters. First one is system content and the second one is user content. Now we will create a constant named headers. It is part of options that it will be sent to OpenAI. It will have two keys, content type, which is application slash JSON, and authorization, which is the bearer token, so bearer, space, and then chat GPT API. Now we will create options, which is part of URL fetch app, like it's shown here. It will have headers and then method, which is get. And we will mute HTTP exceptions because we will create our own exceptions. So we will now go to payload, which will be a string value. It will have models, uh, messages, which is part of the API, which we have to define to get any data from ChatGPT. And the model we're using is 3.5 Turbo. And there's another key called message, which will have roles and system content as an object, as a list of objects. We will define the role as system first and then we will provide the system content which is a dynamic value which is a parameter that's why we're using the parameter user content and system system content and for the second one we will be providing user, user as a role and we will provide temperature 0.7 now we will create a response object which is the response provided by url fetch app from from ChatGPT and we will log this response now. 
first we will have to define system content and user contents default value and for now we will be using chat gpt as a mathematics expert and we will we want to learn calculus from this model this is the response object provided by chat gpt and it has tokens choices models and the response object is given here in the api reference it has choices for the content we have to go to choices which is a list and then the message and then inside message the content as you can see the role is assistant which is the reply from chat gpt now we will fetch that reply only response the choices and first object from choice which is a list object and after that it is message and after message the content now let's run the function again this is the explanation of calculus provided by chat gpt now we will return this value which will be later on saved in the spreadsheet but for now we're just going to return and it is still not complete because we have to take care of the error part which we will do with try and catch and when some error occurs then we will just return some string saying that there has been an error and we can also display error message in the spreadsheet as a toast like i'm doing right now we will return the same string if you want to know more about this formula you can just search app script custom formula and you can go to this web page and here you can find out more about how to name your functions what are the rules how to optimize it and many other things and hopefully you can understand more about custom functions for the custom formula we will create a new script which will name formula and then we will create function name gpt simplify as the name suggests this formula will simplify whatever text is provided as an input the input in this function in this uh, formula is in data that is coming from spreadsheet so we will select a range or a cell and the data will automatically be provided by the spreadsheet to this formula currently i'm just writing a doc string so that it will be easier for the user to understand the workings of this formula okay now we will create a constant string which will be system content like we created earlier in the face data but for now but this for this formula we will be telling the gpt to simplify the text or the passage which is passed to the model now we will return a value which i will just copy paste it from this custom functions web page and then paste it here in with slight modification currently we are using urinary operator because the data passed to this function can either be an array or just a string depending upon the range of data we selected in the spreadsheet for instance if we select just one cell then the data passed would be an string but if we select multiple cells multiple range of data then the value passed in this formula will be an array and nested array to be more precise so to, to, to do so we're gonna have to check either the array is in string or an array so the first part of this operator is going to be used for the array and the second part will be just for the text okay let's modify first we, we're gonna flatten out the input because i don't want more nested array just one array and then we will map this array and then pass use face data in each text no matter how long the size of the array is and then in the second part we will just use the face data like we would use in a normal function call without any mapping or anything else i think we're done okay i need to change this text to an input because it's not a text outside of the map now we're done now we will apply this formula in our own spreadsheet first of all let me copy a text from the book i'm reading and we will apply the formula in the second column in the simplified passage just by typing the name of the formula 
GPT Simplify, and we will provide the range, the data, which is the second row in the first column, A2. And we will just apply the function now, and it's loading. And yeah, this is the data sent by the GPT, and we will wrap it up, and this is how it looks. For GPT Summarize, we're just going to copy the simplify functions and we're going to modify some things like the name of the function and then some doc string for the explanation and the most important part is the system content because we're going to ask GPT to provide us the summary with three to five bullet points and this is it the summary is ready now we're going to see either this works or not Now let's see if the summary is actually working and we will apply this formula in the third column summarize text and first in the second row but make sure to refresh this spreadsheet before we apply this formula and now the function is gpt summary and the range will be again a2 and let's press enter and then chat gpt reply appears now and it has bullet points and it has been summarized and it works now we can paste in an error of the rate limit from the ChatGPT because we can only use ChatGPT's API as a free user for three times in a minute. So when we are using for more than three texts or inputs, then we will face the error like it is being displayed in this spreadsheet. As you can see, the fourth data returned by the GPT formula gives an error. It is because of the rate limit which has been implemented by gpt team and this is the error actually been returned from the chat gpt in the fourth one and it is also mentioned in this documentation now for free users the red limit of the gpt combined with the auto refresh of the custom function can be a bad thing as you can see the data was edited and then refreshed but uh, due to the rate limit many of the cells are now filled with error messages and it can be a bad thing because we're gonna have to try it again and if we edit the data it's gonna get refreshed again which is why it is recommended to use custom menu where you don't need any custom function which is something we will dive in the next section to define the menu, first we'll create a new menu file. In this file, let's create a GPT Simplify menu function, which will be an alternative version for GPT Simplify formula we created earlier. And let's first fetch spreadsheet, get the data from that spreadsheet, the active spreadsheet, using data range. And we will also define last row and last column. We'll need these last row and last columns to save the modified data later on during the end of this function. After this, we will define the role play for the GPT system, which will be the same system content we use for GPT simplify formula. Let's just copy paste this. After that, we will loop through the data using for loop and we will skip the first row. It is because the first row is the header row. And while we're running this function, we have to give it permission because it's the first time we're doing anything related to spreadsheet like facing data, getting data, etc. So, as you can see, it is the header row. Now, let's only change from the second row only apply the function to the second row but we'll apply this if the cell is either empty or if the cell has the error string which is returned by face data in case the red limit is exceeded we're doing this if check because we don't want to waste our gpt red limit in a cell which already has a simplified value we only want to apply it in the cells where there's either empty or the error string with this our for loop is done and our data will be modified if there's such condition and after this we will just have to save this data using set values and this is where we use last row and last column and with this we're done now we will just 
console log the error or toast the error in case something else happens and we want to check our menu. And let's define a doc string for the users. And with this, our function is ready to be implemented. But first, to display this function in the spreadsheet menu, we are going to have to create a menu. And we will do that using spreadsheet app.getUI.create menu, which is provided by the AppScape. And it will, create, it will need a title, which will be GBD functions. After this, we will add the functions to the menu using the add, add item. And the first one, first parameter is the title of the function that will appear in the menu, which is GPT simplify. And the second one is the name of the function itself. Let's define doctrine for this menu. After this, we're going to need to add this menu to the spreadsheet using on open and if this on open adds this create custom menu whatever is it inside the on open it executes it whenever the spreadsheet or the whenever the document this script is bound to is reloaded or relaunched Oops, it looks like I forgot to add one piece of code menu.add to ui this actually adds the menu to the spreadsheet by the way, don't forget to reload this spreadsheet first. Let's delete previous data and we will apply this again. After this, we will wait for the menu to appear. After refreshing, and here it is, CPD functions, and we'll apply this if to simplify. See the result, and I see the error because this menu again is the victim of the red limit. But you can I wait again for one minute and apply this formula again. Apply this menu again, and then it will only be implemented in the fourth row because the first three rows have value and it is not an error value. So it's going to work. The GPT summarize part is easy because we're just going to copy paste the GPT simplified menu and we're going to change a few things inside there. The first thing is the doc string itself, and the second thing is name of the function which is GPT summarize menu. The third thing is the role play we provide to the chat GPT, the system content, which is the same as the one with the GPT summary formula. Let's just copy paste it. And the first thing will be the target cell, which is the third cell, as you can see, one, two, three. And after this, our function is ready. We're gonna have to add this function to the menu itself in the create custom menu part. The title will be GPT summarize. And we can see the GPT summarize and run the function and we can see the error in the fourth one that is because of the red limit error that we have discussed plenty of times. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're already not subscribed, I hope you'll subscribe to the channel as well. I'll be releasing new videos twice every month so that you won't miss out. Thank you for watching again.